Published, 15.28 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 5th of July 2018. Updated, 16.43 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 5th of July 2018. Sacramento, California, AP. The latest on a ruling by a U.S. Judge in a lawsuit by the Trump administration against California over state sanctuary laws, all times local, 1.35 p.m. A spokesman for the U.S. Department of Justice says a federal judge's decision to block a California sanctuary law was a victory for private employers. President Donald Trump boards Air Force One, Thursday, July 5, 2018, at Andrews Air Force Base, MD, en route to a rally in Great Falls, Mont. AP photo, Carolyn Castor, Devin O'Malley also said the DOJ was disappointed that U.S. Judge John Mendez didn't halt two other laws, but he vowed that the department will keep fighting policies that threaten public safety. The rulings came Thursday in a lawsuit filed by the Trump administration over three California laws. U.S. Judge John Mendez blocked a state law that prohibited employers from allowing immigration officials on their premises without a warrant. Mendez allowed California to enforce a law requiring state officials to review detention facilities where immigrants are held and another that prevents local law enforcement from providing release dates and personal information on jail inmates. Underscore 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 12.45 p.m. The U.S. Judge in Sacramento who refused to block two California sanctuary laws and barred another from being enforced says he reached the decision without any concern for its political consequences. U.S. District Judge John Mendez said in his ruling dated July 4 that there is no place for politics in the country's judicial system and he hoped his ruling would not be viewed through a political lens. Mendez also urged the President and Congress to set aside politics surrounding the current immigration debate to address the issue. Mendez refused to block a law requiring the state to review detention facilities where immigrants are held and another that prevents local law enforcement from providing release dates and personal information on jail inmates. He said California could not enforce another law that prohibits employers from allowing immigration officials on their premises unless the officials have a warrant, underscore 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 12.15 p.m. Immigrant rights groups are claiming victory after a U.S. judge in Sacramento refused the Trump administration's request to block two California sanctuary laws. The judge put another law on hold. Out of CA Coalition said in a statement that Thursday's ruling was a defeat for President Donald Trump's agenda. The coalition is made up of immigrant, labor, and law groups. U.S. District Judge John Mendez refused to block a law requiring the state to review detention facilities where immigrants are held and another that prevents local law enforcement from providing release dates and personal information on jail inmates. He said California could not enforce another law that prohibits employers from allowing immigration officials on their premises unless the officials have a warrant, underscore 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 11 a.m. A U.S. Judge in Sacramento has rejected a request by the Trump administration to block two California laws that protect immigrants in the country illegally. But Judge John Mendez put a third California sanctuary law on hold in his ruling Thursday. California officials say their policies promote trust between immigrant communities and law enforcement. The administration says the state is allowing dangerous criminals to stay on the street. The U.S. government sued the state in March as part of a broader effort to crack down on sanctuary jurisdictions. The lawsuit argued that the U.S. Constitution gives the federal government preeminent power to regulate immigration, and California can't obstruct immigration enforcement efforts. Mendez said during a hearing in June that he wasn't convinced California intended to interfere with federal immigration enforcement. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.